Today at ShopDap.com, we compare the all-wheel drive system from the Mark 7 to the Mark 8 Golf R. That was pretty terrible. No, well, I thought good. it was good, dude. And, uh, I felt bad about it, but it doesn't matter how I feel. Let's move on to the I next one. You may have seen me crack jokes on the all-wheel drive system found in the Mark 7 Golf R because it's not a full-time all-wheel drive system. I've called it fake wheel drive, fraud wheel drive, fictitious wheel drive, and even faux wheel drive. The reality is this all-wheel drive system has held up to some pretty strong abuse as well as horsepower. There are some RS3s built by Hank Iroz running seven seconds in the quarter mile. Those cars also make like 1,500 horsepower. With numbers like that, it's really hard to imagine how anybody could take me making jokes about this all-wheel drive system serious. But we have to keep in mind there are people who believe that space is fake, so we have to keep our expectations low or low-ish. The Halidex system functions primarily like a front-wheel drive vehicle, but the rear wheels are activated on demand. The Mark 7 and 7.5 model use the fifth generation Halidex. This uses predictive signals to proactively engage the all wheel drive system even before your wheels start slipping. Skirt. To do this, we have a prop shaft that runs from the front of the vehicle all the way back to the rear differential. Now, between that, we have a clutch pack between the drive shaft and the rear differential that can engage and disengage the rear wheels on demand. This system uses an electric pump to create fluid pressure. Then solenoids apply that pressure to engage the clutches. So there is the Haldex all-wheel drive system, but Charles has a fancy new Mark 8 Golf R that has a torque vectoring rear differential. Previously, the torque vectoring diff found in our family of cars was only in Audi models. Now the S4 that Paul and I got for 1500 bucks for our drag race series has a similar to the Mark 8 torque vectoring rear diff. On this system, you have a clutch on the left, a clutch on the right and a differential in the middle. Then you have an electric pump for fluid and solenoid valves that control the fluid flow to the left and right clutch packs. Audi calls this torque vectoring rear diff sport diff, and this allows the car to put power to the left wheel or the right wheel independently. But the Mark 8 Golf R torque vectoring functions differently. It also uses a clutch assembly on the left and right axle, which are electromechanically controlled. This system developed by Magna uses electric motors with worm gears to turn a mechanism to engage the clutches on the left and right side. The mechanism uses a three ball ramp system. The motor turns a gear and as it turns it, the ramp rotates creating more pressure with the balls on the clutch pack. As the motor turns the gear, the ramp portion rotates and the ball creates more clamping force on the clutch. The control motors use the same part number from the left side and the right side, but the right side or the passenger side on countries that drive on the correct side of the road functions as the primary module and the one on the left side functions as the secondary. In addition to controlling the right side clutch, primary motor also does all the calculations for the left and right torque splitting. The most interesting thing about this differential is that it's not actually a differential in the traditional sense. It doesn't have spider gears or the standard differential parts you need to make the left and right wheel turn at different speeds. This is because the clutches can completely decouple the left and right wheels from the drivetrain. But Charles, what about servicing? That's a good question, Paul. What about servicing? <laughs> this unit does require servicing, and what's interesting is that it's broken into three sections. The right side and the left side clutch assemblies, and then the center section has a hypoid gear oil. So this would be similar to an oil probably used for a traditional differential. Everything under here on this unit is actually pretty well labeled, and it's important to make sure you use the right fluid. The clutch fluid is a different fluid than the center section gear oil. I'll have a DIY coming out pretty soon to show you exactly step-by-step step on how to service this rear end and that rear end. <laughs> As for the all-wheel drive system on this car, the clutches in the rear can be completely disengaged, putting 0% of the power to the rear wheels, much like a Haldex system. The engineering on this new torque vectoring rear differential is awesome, making drift mode possible by pushing all the power to the outside wheel during turning. Now I'm gonna see if I can convince Charles to let me go drift this thing. Not a chance. They, they made this fancy cover 
So that they just beat up Charles's car. They, they made this fancy cover so that when you smash a rock, it doesn't destroy your all-wheel drive connectors. <laughs> So why does any of that matter at all? Haldex has been the all-wheel drive system in Volkswagen models for a long time now, nearly 20 years as a matter of fact. So this is a big departure from that system and a big improvement. Change can often be difficult as has been illustrated by the button controversy on the Mark 8. All-wheel drive is always going to be better than front-wheel drive, but torque vectoring is even better and here's why. As you know, torque vectoring differentials have the ability to shift power from the left and right side depending on the circumstance. This means that you can have drift mode, number one. Number two, you can get highly improved handling. It can shift the power to the outside wheel or the inside wheel depending on what the car is doing. It did this when we autocrossed the car as we came around sharp turns and the rear end started to swing around. It would autocorrect and pull it back in, making us much better drivers that we looked like and in actual practice than we are in real life. Because if we didn't, we probably would have just spun the car around and that would have been it. In short, the torque factoring rear differential is going to improve just about every part of handling with this car and is going to make you a much better driver than you are in real life, even though you probably think you're a race car driver in real life until you crash into a tree.